Little Gym at Home, Grade School Edition. My name is Miss Kayla. On the count of three, can I have you all say your names? Ready? One, two, three. Thank you so much for joining me today. For today's lesson, if you have a yoga mat or if your family has a yoga mat, that would be perfect. Or you can use a carpet square or any other piece of equipment that's small for you to practice on. Today we're going to be doing some yoga, some stretches, and a little bit of fitness. So are you ready to have some serious fun? Awesome, I know I am. So on the count of three, I'll say one, two, three, and you will say TLG. Are you ready? Put your hand in the middle. Ready? One, two, three, TLG! Can you hold a tree pose while I get the music ready, please? Beautiful tree poses. Kids, we are going to do some yoga poses. Oh, we're going to do some yoga. So the first thing we're going to do is balance on one leg. We're going to see if you can make your arms into a pretzel. So cross at your elbows, then again at your wrists. Maybe you can even pretzel your legs. You all look amazing. Did you know this is called eagle pose? This is like your little eagle beak. Can you try to smell your thumb? You all look amazing. I love your balancing. Maybe let's try the other side. Ready? So relax. Switch legs. And switch your arms. Everybody stand up. Let's do the tree pose. Stand up. Beautiful work. All right, let's do tree pose. We did this one in the beginning. So you can put your foot either right by your calf or up into your thighs. Can you bring your hands to your heart? some calm. You all look amazing. I'm so proud of you. Maybe you bring your arms up really high. Can you look up to the sky? Say thank you, sky. Beautiful. Did that feel good? You all look amazing. All right, we're going to go cobra pose this time. This one's on your belly, so come on down to the floor. Point your feet to your belly button on the floor and lift up. Do you know cobra is like a snake? That's amazing, right? Maybe you can lift up one hand. How about the other hand? Both hands. Ooh, can you hold it? Please, please, please. You can do it. I know you can do it. Woo! Big rest. Ooh, okay, this time we're doing tortoise. Do you know what a tortoise is? It's like a turtle. So we're going to make a little turtle shape with our body. Grab onto your feet. Go in between your knees. And lift up. So sometimes this one gets a little bit uncomfortable, but remember, it's okay. Just try your best. Really stretching out your back. Alright, we're going to do a locust. That's kind of like a really big cricket or like a cockroach. Are you ready? So take your hands on the floor, lay on your belly. Lift up your right leg. Good. Can you lift up your left leg? Alright, are you ready? Both legs. Here we go. Whoa. And relax. And relax. One more look up. And relax. All right, last one. One of the most famous yoga, yoga poses, downward facing dog. Are you ready? You're going to make a mountain position with your body. And look right in between your feet. Can you spread your fingers super wide like the roots of a tree? You'll feel a stretch all the way through the backs of your hamstrings, all the way down your calves. Maybe shake out your head, no. Maybe yes. And take a big, deep breath. Kids, great job. This is great for your flexibility. Keep working in your yoga poses, okay? Thanks. Great job, you guys. Can you give yourselves a high five? Boom. And how about a big hug? What about a hand hug? Have you ever done a hand hug? Your hands give a little hug. 
Great job, you guys. Yoga is really awesome for your flexibility. What else is really good for your flexibility? That's right, stretching. We're gonna do a little bit of stretching now. Are you ready? So go ahead and follow along with me. Remember, you don't have to be the best. Just try your best. So go to the point of your own control and hold it there. And remember, always breathe. Hmm, can you hold a downward dog while I get the music ready? All right, are you ready? Let's start with a sitting pike stretch. Who can show me a pike? Ready, let me see. Yes, you all look great. Here's a pike stretch. Let's start with our toesies nice and pointed. Reach your arms up really high to the sky and reach down. Let's count to 10. Let me hear it. One, two, three, four, Yes, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Roll all the way up. Shake, 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 shake. Beautiful. Let's do a straddle stretch now. This is where your legs are like this. Remember, straddle. Can you say straddle? Nice job. We'll start reaching over to the right. Can you count to ten in another language? Let's hear it. I'll do Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Six, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Nice job, you guys, you're so smart. How about over to the left side? Can you count to 10 in your head? Ten. Nice job, that takes a lot of teamwork. Let's take our fingers and walk them towards the middle. Let me hear you count to 10 this time. Ready? As loud as you can. I love how positive you guys are. Amazing. Let's go ahead and stand up. We're going to do a standing pipe stretch this time. Who thinks they know what that means? That's right. We're going to reach our hands to the floor. Are you ready? Reach your hands down. See if you can give the floor a big high five. Maybe you can pedal out your legs. That means bending one thing at a time. Let's do it 10 times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, great counting, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Can you roll up super slow like a rag doll? Roll yourself up like a floppy doll. Great job, you guys. I love the way you're stretching. Let's do an arm stretch this time. Get our shoulders moving. So take one arm. Let's take your right arm. Cross it across your chest. Other arm goes underneath. Now, if this shoulder's way up by your ear, can you drop it down for me? Pull it away as far as you can. Do you know another language to count to 10 in? Let's hear it. Do you feel a little bit more flexible? 
Great, I know I do. So let's go ahead and get some fitness going on. What does fitness mean? That's right, it means to work out your body and your muscles, make them nice and strong. Have you ever heard of circuit training? You have? Where have you heard of it? At the little gym, that's right. Maybe your family does circuit training too sometimes when they go to the gym. So what circuit training is, is picking a couple different exercises and using them to work your body. So we're gonna do three different exercises today when we hear the music, okay? We're gonna start with a bit of a um, leg workout, starting with some lunges. So we're gonna start like this. If you have space in your house or your room, you can lunge all the way across the floor. Or if you're working in a little space like me, you can just do standing lunges in place like this. Lunge, step back, lunge, step back. That one works on your legs, right? These big muscles right here. The next one we're gonna do is jumping jacks. Ready, arms and legs both like this. Maybe we'll even do some crazy variation. And then the third thing we'll do is a candlestick hold. I bet you remember this one. Watch this, you're gonna lay on your back, bring your legs all the way up into the air, and you can hang on at your hips, or maybe even on the floor. How does that sound? Are you ready? Can you hold a candlestick while I get the music ready? Great, here we go. When the music freezes, you're gonna freeze on one leg, see if you can balance like a flamingo. Maybe you can even try that tree eagle pose like we did. All right, ready, let's do jumping jacks. Keep going. Listen to your body. If you get a little bit tired, it's okay to take a break. Oh, freeze. Let's do lunges. Here we go, ready? Lunges in place. Make those leg muscles nice and strong. I love the way you are all trying your best. I am so proud of you. Way to get a workout in on this beautiful day. All right, candlestick. You remember this one. Can you tuck your knees? And straighten. Freeze. All right, freeze. Let's do lunges this time, ready? Can you move your arms like you're running? This is a really good practice for vaulting. Beautiful running arms, you guys. If your legs are starting to get a little tired, that's okay, free. Jumping jacks, here we go. Can you adjust your legs? Ooh. How about just your arms? Both. Good job, you guys. Freeze. Yeah. All right, candlesticks this time. Let's see if we can do candlestick rolls. Ready? Candlestick roll. Two attack. Candlestick roll. Two attack. Candlestick roll. Two attack. Candlestick roll. Two attack. You guys, this is a tricky one. You are doing amazing. I'm so proud of you guys. Amazing work. Give yourselves a round of applause. How about give yourselves a high five? And I'm gonna give you guys a virtual fist bump. Ready, one, two, three. Nice work, you guys. All right, but we're gonna use those three exercises and we're gonna do some funky, crazy variations with them. Are you ready? Okay. This is called three, two, one. So you're gonna do three of an exercise, then two of an exercise, then one of an exercise. But the exercises are gonna change. So let's start with three jumping jacks. Hmm, let's do them super slow. Three slow jumping jacks. One. Can you get into a really deep squat? Two. One more. Three. How about two candlestick to tuck? Ready? Candlestick. Tuck. Candlestick. Tuck. And let's do 
one lunge. But we're gonna hold it really deep and count to 10. Ready, one lunge, here we go. One, two, again, here we go, three, four, awesome job, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, good, let's stay super low and turn around the other direction so we work the other way, ready, go. One, two, three, it's like you're running but you're frozen, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, beautiful, all right, let's do three fast lunges, ready, can you do them jumping? One, two, three, well, how about two jumping jacks? One, two, and how about one candlestick? One, beautiful, three jumping jacks. One, two, three, two jumping lunges. One, two, one candlestick. Boom. How about two candlesticks? One, two, and stand all the way up. How about three jumping jacks? One, two, three, and hold your lunge. You guys look like statues. Other side. You still look like statues. And can you hold a squat hold? Ready? Let's count to ten. One, two, three, four. You got it. Are your legs shaking? Mine are five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half, nine and three quarters. 10. Whew. Great job, you guys. That was incredible. Virtual high five. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a quick pop for you guys for this week. Remember what pop stands for? Personal outside practice. So your pop is to do set and reps of frog jumps. Do you guys remember frog jumps? This is what they look like. Squat all the way down, touch the floor with both hands. Jump all the way up. So, on the count of three, will you please tell me how old you are? Ready? One, two, three. Beautiful. So however old you are, that's how many sets and how many reps you're gonna do. So if you're seven, you're gonna do seven sets of seven frog jumps. Sound good? All right, I know you guys can do this. I'm so proud of you for getting in a little bit of a workout today joining us at the Little Gym at home. We miss you guys so much and we cannot wait to see you. We hope you're having an incredible day. My name is Miss Kayla. I will see you again soon. Let's end our class just like we do at the Little Gym. When I say one, two, three, you'll say TLG. Are you ready? Put your hand in the middle. One, two, three, TLG!